Wake up and move. And that's what this one's all about. Justin Arnold back here at Flex MP. What we're gonna do today is just activation and mobility work. This is a nice stress reliever, the movements we're gonna go through and just get that body moving if you've been sitting around. One of these exercises we're gonna do is the lateral band walk. Now Monday we brought you a nice banded workout. This one again, all about mobility and activation. We're gonna put this band around our ankle like so. It's gonna help activate more of the glute meat. So if you've been sitting, we're gonna get some activation there. We're gonna get a, about a quarter squat and we're gonna push those knees out and just step, step as far as we can. We're gonna do about 15 a side. The next exercise is called a pike up. I'm gonna show you on the dip bars, but what you use at home could be a couple chairs, a couple boxes, and I'm gonna show some variations. So the more advanced one, squeeze those uh, abs and quads and you're just gonna pull through as if a string is pulling through on your abs. Again, there would be a box or a chair on each side. I love this because this hits the lower abs without doing uh, harm on the hips or back. Now, if you can't do that, maybe it's just this and putting down, or maybe it's this, or maybe it's this. The idea is just get those abs moving, activating, using some materials. From there, we're back to mobility. And all this is minimal space. What we're gonna do is a downward dog, if you've been doing that, to like a nice little pigeon stretch. Now, if you can't get all the way to the ground, get as far as you can, push through. Even if you're like here, that's fine too. Just downward dog, pigeon, sit through and breathe. Then after that, we're gonna get some more core and mobility. We're gonna hinge, so we're gonna show this from the side. Flat back, feeling those hamstrings. You might have kids running around and that's what's going on right now. You're gonna walk out as far as you can and then just walk those feet to your hands. Now, if you're limited to space, just turn right around, walk out or walk your feet in. And if you're limited to space, it is the reason to get outside, no matter what the weather is, get some fresh air. From there, we're gonna do some butterflies. So it's like a Superman. You're gonna lift up, but then you're gonna come around. And again, don't get frustrated with the children. Just let them hang out, do the best job you can. The idea is at least we're getting some movement and mobility. From there, whew, this one might be a little bit hard with a child on your back, but we're gonna try it. A little impromptu here. So downward, we're gonna step into that runner stretch and then we're gonna walk back into this Cossack. Now I would not recommend this with a child on you, but hey, work with what you got. And then that's it. Again, modify as needed, woo! So how would you modify that one, especially limited mobility? So maybe step in and maybe you're almost standing up. Maybe you're not making it as far into it. Or even maybe you just stand up Get a little wide, slowly move in. I like to put a hand here to make sure the chest is up. I'm gonna few, put a few more programming notes below. I hope that gets you up and moving. And a no little bit, fighting. And no fighting, and, but I know it's going on. But hopefully this is a little bit easier than what the more complex things are put together to just get you breathing and feeling better, moving better, and living better. Well, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you keep tuning into these and hopefully they're helping you out. If they are, give a thumbs up. Check out some of the links below and share it with the world. Take care. Don't give up and try your best.